Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to Ehe, the reason you see me. And when Rich Homie Kwan's barber shop was shot up, was that in September of 2014? Do you I, remember? I don't know when. I know we went up there and shot it up. Was it before Nut was killed? Yes. Do you remember what happened the day that you and Threat shot up Rich Homie Kwan's daddy's barber shop? What do you mean? But do you remember that day? What what led up to you going to the barber shop and shooting it up? I told him they go do it. What led up to you saying let's go do it? Why? Threat was mad. He was like he fucking keep scaring my name. He he was talking. Do you need playing like like we somebody to play with? And I was ready. I had them choppers on deck. Why was Threat beefing with Rich Homie Kwan to shoot up his daddy's shop? Um, I'm... Cause we didn't know where he was. So did you go to the shop looking for Rich Homie Kwan? Nah, we went to send a message. Wow, wow. Hey man, uh, as you guys are hearing, man, Woody is, uh, Back in court, man. This is it's getting real serious now, man. Uh, listen, man, make sure you like, subscribe to the channel, man. Woody goes in. We talking about Rich Homie Quans. Uh, man, man, people, it, it, people getting shot, people's stuff getting shot up. Is this real? Woody is giving them all that she got. This is the whole game, man. This trial been going on. This is the longest, this is longer than the OJ trial look like, man. I ain't never seen one go this long and change judges and DAs and stuff so much. And I don't know what's going on, to be honest, which is crazy to me. Uh, um, I, I just say, man, I had to get some expertise advice on this one, man. A man who knows, man. OG Pyro, man, what's going on with Woody? Man, this 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 is this is a merry-go-round of of trials. This is a trial of the century when it comes to uh, street elements and trying to establish a RICO. Uh, Woody then took the the prosecution on so, so many merry-go-rounds. He then told the police these different stories to get out of jail and in jail, and he comes to court and tells them straight out everything that i said was a lie and you can't believe nothing i said i just said it to get out of jail then he turns on you know if he, they told him if he plead the fifth or he didn't become forthwith that they would lock him up for perjury so he started off with i don't recall can't nobody make you remember so woody is playing him like a fiddle i mean so do you, you feel like woody is the best thing that's happening right now for for this trial now he he didn't got uh uh, 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 the judge, he didn't got one judge recused because they did an in-camera hearing without the defense. And Woody's attorney went back and told the, the defense what went on in, in the hearing and, and attorney Steele got on Granville about it and this Negro thought he was better than the system and denied it and told him he who who told him and he got recused. Then they brought another black judge on a female and her uh bailiff was having sex with Woody. And what? Got her recused. So man, it's been a merry go round. So Woody you saying Woody was having a relations with, with somebody in the court? With one, the, with one of the police, with one of the officers, man, you know? And and she and she was up in I think I can't think of the other black judge or her name, but when she found out that her her deputy was in jail, who uh, hoochie cooching with Woody, she had to recuse herself. So now, now they went and got Betty Crocker, and they got the Great White Hope, and she man, the, she, the, but this white lady, she is killing the prosecution with they lies and all the stuff they got with with. Judge Granville, she's not having it, but she won't declare a mistrial. Wow, it's been too. It's been a lot of, of, of money spent. I want to. I want to talk about that, that, that. He came back and the other day he said, he, you know, after all is said and done, he'll say some stuff that's totally different. Watch this. Hey man, give me something about the shit. I'm about to make some up about him again. On January 11, 2015, when you went to speak to the police. When they called you, did they ask you about Thug or did they ask you about the murder of Donovan Thomas? I don't know. I don't, re I don't remember. 
did you go down to the police department on your own to tell them that you did not kill Donovan Thomas? Uh, did I go on my own? Did you walk into the police department by yourself to tell them on the morning of January 11, 2015, that you did not kill Donovan Thomas? I don't recall. Okay. So you don't recall going to the police or you don't recall why? I don't you recall none of it. Right. I just know that every time the police was after me, trying to get me, they kept bringing his name up. And I knew that they had me what I had, so I was like, yeah, 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 whatever y'all want me to say, I was see it. That's what I told Gaither and Dennis, and that's why they kept coming after me, because they felt like, okay, they can make a case out to him or whatever they trying to do. So they knew that, okay, we're going to get with it today. He's going to have something to say about the, and it's wrong. And y'all are wrong because y'all know that I'm full of shit. And y'all keep trying to drag me in here to bring up bullshit that y'all know I don't say it. Why is y'all doing it? Leave me alone. If y'all gonna charge me for what I did, I don't did the time for the crimes y'all caught me for. Would you mind your language while we're sitting? Wow, man. So, so Woody now goes back in and say, man, I'm just telling y'all anything y'all want to hear. See, see what he did Friday, uh, uh, boss talk. Friday, they, 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 the prosecution that told him because he said he went on on an interview with the police. He told the police, I did it all. They said, well, you killed nut." He said, I'll take all the cases. So when they took him to the in-camera hearing, they told him he could admit that when he was saying, when they were talking about shooting up the, the barbershop, you could admit to any crime involving the YSL, but you cannot say that you killed nut. If you say you killed nut, we'll convict you for that. But you got immunity to everything else. So Friday, he told the white lady, well, they told me that the, I could say any lie out, I could lie about anything. But if I lied about killing that, I would go to jail. Is that true or not? So the judge said, well, hey, yeah, if that's what they said, but they can't say that. So now today he said, well, no, I didn't, I didn't kill nut. But whatever I was saying, I just told him, yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, that this damn Woody smarted, man, they got to go for me for Woody. <laughs> <laughs> Woody has became one of the most popular uh, internet sensations that's online. And and so what do you what would you if you were uh, if you were able to talk to Woody, what would you uh, what would what would be the conversation? I say, Woody, you do. Hey, he's doing what I tell every Negro in the system. I don't recall. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be held against you. Don't talk about anything. And if they say anything, like he said, I was under pressure. I don't recall. So when he say he shot up Rich Homie Kwan's people house, um, it, it, and he admits to it after he asked the judge if it was okay and he couldn't get in trouble, what is that all about? Because they wanted him to say everything tying YSL to criminal action because he was a member of YSL. So they're trying to get Young Thug on a criminal conspiracy, the RICO Act, right? Right. That he was in charge and that he was the mastermind and everything Woody them did, he had knowledge of it. So is Woody wrong for it? Is, is Woody wrong for doing this? Hell no, by any means necessary. He's helping more. all them dudes is quiet and ain't saying nothing. He's standing up and telling the system, yeah, I'm saying all this, but I'm lying. Wow, man. Hey, man, make sure you guys like and subscribe to the channel, man. Let us know, man. O OG Pyru says that Woody is basically telling them anything they want to hear and that he's doing uh, the what he's supposed to be doing in this case. Just... Uh, what do you guys think? Do you think that Woody is, is in proper stance with this criminal case against Young Thug or, or should he be being quiet? Let me know in the comments. You got to let me know, man. And, and, and we're going to check it out and we're going to come back and talk about it again. Me and OG going to be watching this thing. Now, from here on out, we're going to give you a section of what we think about Woody and what we think about uh, uh, my boy uh, Slime, Young Thugger, YSL, and the whole shebang, man. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Make sure you become members, man, and watch the interviews, man, on Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-He, the reason you see me.